In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this in Adobe Premiere Pro. What's up guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Vcube and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the VHS effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro without using any plugin or any preset. So here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. We have a simple footage I'm downloaded it from Mixkit. You can also get the link in the description if you want it. So first of all, we have to change its blend mode. For that, I'm just go to effects control and now I get a blend mode right there. So I'm just change it to linear dodge at so we have to make a duplicate layer of our main footage. For that I'm just hold alt and now make a duplicate and now I make another copy. We need a three copies of our main footage. So we have to make a pure colors with a three different layers like red, green and blue. For that, I'm just go to effects. If this effects panel is not appears there, don't worry about it. Just go to windows and now select effects. It will automatically appears right there. So I'm just search RGB. So I'm just got a color RGB. So I'm just drop it to my every footage. So now I'm just selecting my first layer and now go to effects control. Now I have to make a three different layers with the three different colors like red, green and blue. So I'm just select my first layer and select our red to 100 and 0 to our green and 0 to our blue. And as you can see our red effect appears in our main footage. Now I'm select our second layer and now set value green to 100 and the other two value to zero. Now as you can see, it look like uh, something green. So I'm just select my last footage and now select below 200 and the other two value to zero. So now I want to make it RGB. For that, I'm just change my first layer value because the first layer is a red layer. I want to make a changing with a red. So I want to select our first layer like red layer and change our scale to 103. 103 or 102 is a perfect value with respect to my footage. You can also change the value as respective to your footage. So 103 is a little bit more. So I'm just change it to 102 is a perfect for me for my footage. You can also change a value with respect to your footage condition. I want to change a little bit with my position with X axis to 958 is perfect for me you can also change the value with respect to your footage so now we have to add a VHS overlay in our footage you can also do that inside of Adobe Premiere but it's a little bit difficult to do that so that I'm provide you the overlay is a free to download I also put the link in the description and now drop it to your footage so the next step we have to do just select your VHS overlay just go to effects control and change the blend mode to screen and now as you can see a beautiful overlay is added in our footage so I want to make it a little bit resize because that can be see a little bit a line right there so I'm just changing its scale to a little bit more like that yeah, it's perfect for my footage and as you can see, it's a perfectly working. Create an adjustment layer, drop it above our main footage and now resize it. Just go to effects and search wave warp and I got our wave warp under that distort. I'm just drop it to my adjustment layer. Now I'm just go to effects control and now I need to make a little bit changings in a wave warp. First of all, I have to change the wave type to scale. Height is perfect for my footage, is also perfect for your footage as well. I want to change the wave width to like 900 is perfect for me. You can be set as respect to your footage and the direction to zero. So I want to change the wave speed to 0.1. If you select the wave speed to 0.1, your wave is starting from bottom and going forward to the top. I want my wave to coming from top to bottom. So I'm just make it uh, in a minus like minus 0.1 and it's perfect now our wave coming from top to bottom and it's a perfect way now I'm changing the pinning to the old edge 
to make it realistic like a black boss appears if I can't do that in all edges so I'm just changing it to all edges to make it realistic now take a look our wave is coming from top to bottom and it's just amazing to look like so to make it more realistic I'm just want to make an adjustment layer and drop this above our main footage now we have to make a changing in luminary color to something little bit color correction with our footage to make it more amazing so I'm just go to effects and search luminary color so as you can be see I'm just go the luminary color under the color correction I just drop this on our new adjustment layer now go to effects control and make a little bit changing right there I'm just go to basic correction and change our contrast to minus 25 or minus 30 is perfect for my footage you can also choose what value is perfect for your footage and you will see it's perfect for me and now I'm also changing in highlights to minus 20 it's perfect for me so now let's uh, move to the shadows and little bit changing like that as so a 20 minus 20 is perfect now just go to creative and change the fade film to uh, the 60 is perfect I think so you have 60 is perfect now let's take a look it is the more realistic to look like so the last step to make your VHS effect looking better is to add a black bars at the right and left side. Normally we are using a black bars at top and bottom but in a VHS effect to make it more amazing we are just putting a black bars on right and left side. So I'm just create our black video and just drop it above our footage. Now go to effects and search crop drop it on our black video just go to effects control and change the left value to 90 and now make another duplicate layer of black video just hold alt and make a duplicate layer and now change the left value to 0 change the right value to 90 and as you can see a left and right bar appears in our footage and now our VHS effect is just ready and ready to watch let's take a look So yeah, here is the video of today. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and comment below if you have any question about this video or any other video. If you have any video suggestion, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Take care.